The NCAA tournament is one of the most exciting events in basketball, where we get to see some of the brightest stars in the game today show out and give us a glimpse of what they might do at the NBA level. This year, all eyes are on Brandon Miller, the pretty much consensus number three overall pick behind Scoot and Wendy. But that's not to say there aren't any other players you should keep an eye on. In most mock drafts, I always notice one player in particular is always rated a lot lower than I expect him to be. Imagine if I told you a player was 6'9", 325, with a 7-foot wingspan, a 4-time All-Big Ten selection with 2-time selections for defense, and leads his team in points, rebounds, assists, and blocks. You'd think this guy has to be a top 15 pick at least, but scouts have him listed as a late first rounder. Well, they might be right. Let me tell you why I think Indiana star Trace Jackson Davis might just be the steal of the draft. And why? He might not. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy 2KJ here, and today I want to talk to y'all about one of the more interesting players in the upcoming 2023 draft. I haven't really heard many people talking about Trace Jackson Davis, and I think he has the potential to be an absolute steal for any team looking for a lockdown perimeter defender who can also get himself a bucket. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching the content. Let's get right into it. Attending Grove High School in Indiana, Trace Jackson Davis was a force, averaging 21.6 points per game, 9.3 rebounds, and 2.9 blocks to lead his team to the Class 4A state tournament. Even though they'd fall short of winning it all, Jackson Davis still was awarded with McDonald's All-American honors and a four-star ranking for his senior season. Deciding to stay in the state, he would attend Indiana, where he spent the past four years improving his game and showing scouts why he deserves to be a first-round pick. Currently, he's got the Hoosers to the four seed in the NCAA tournament and has put up exceptional numbers in his senior season. Through 30 games, he's got 20.8 points per game, 10.9 rebounds, 4.1 assists, and 2.7 blocks, all on a quite efficient 58% shooting. And if you've watched his game, you know he backs these stats up. Jackson Davis has scored over 10 points every game this season, with 16 20 point games and a season high of 35 and a victory against Illinois. He can create his own bucket well, using his finesse, strength, and height to drive to the basket for some crafty finishes. That athleticism also helps him be one of the most elite lob threats in all of college basketball. But it doesn't just do that. Jackson Davis is a two-time Big Ten All-Defensive Player of the Year and is also leading the NCAA in box plus minus and is top 10 in defensive plus minus. Another major upside with his draft stock is his ability to rebound. With a 7-foot wingspan and a 6'9 height, Jackson Davis has a knack for getting boards. 17 double-doubles on the season, 3 games with over 20 rebounds. The Hoosers actually run him as more of a center forward, using his insane length and strength to make up for his lack of height. This works to his advantage as he can use his speed to get past slower centers and his height to get by smaller guards, making him a bit of a matchup nightmare for small teams and a really interesting player overall. Now, while Jackson Davis has a lot of upside in my opinion, he has one major problem with his game. He doesn't shoot. In all the footage I've seen, I only see him drive to the basket, never settling for an outside jumper or even a three-point attempt. As a matter of fact, he hasn't taken a three-pointer all season or for his career. This is very likely why his draft stock is so low. We all know in today's game, you absolutely have to be able to shoot. Look at people like Ben Simmons. He had an all-star career and now he's pretty much obsolete because of his reluctance to shoot. Jackson Davis has all the intangibles and skills that a player needs to succeed at the next level, but he needs to be willing to learn how to shoot to make the jump. If he can become a decent three-point shooter, possibly add a light mid-range game to his bag, I can see him developing into something special, but it all comes down to who he gets drafted by. If a team allows him to experiment with a jumper and get comfortable with it, and who knows what the ceiling is for Trace Jackson Davis. But, like I said, only time will tell. So, what do you guys think about Trace Jackson Davis? I think he definitely has the potential to be one of the biggest steals in the draft, but it really all depends on who he gets drafted by. If they can develop his shot, he can turn into something special, but we'll really have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!